Uh, hey guys, good morning. Happy Labor Day. Uh, it's uh, Monday, September 5th. Um, I'm over here at the, uh, right across the street from the Migrant Resource Center on 7000 San Pedro Avenue. Uh, as you can see right behind me, um, there's a camp being set up here um, by the migrants um, that are being released. As you all know, six to 800 uh, migrants are coming in daily and being placed over at the uh, Migrant Resource Center. The only thing is after three days, if they don't have a plane ticket, a bus ticket, uh, then they've got to go somewhere else. And if they don't find any place else to go, then they end up on the street. Um, so as you can see um, the city of San Antonio uh, Development Services Department Field Services Division. Uh, so this property is owned by Maplewood Grotto LLC. And it looks like uh, there's a, a violation of some sort about uh, overgrown vegetation and some other things. And uh, there's an abatement de deadline right there as well. Uh, as you all can probably see. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and walk uh, through this area where there's uh, a slit. It looks like it's been cut open here. So y'all can see that. Okay, so it's been cut open. So this is where people come in and out of. So I'm gonna go in right now. Okay, so perfect. Buenas tardes, como estas? Hey. Hey, hey, uh, let me grab. Uh, Where's San Sandra? Hey guys, I'm looking for Sandy. One second. Uh, Sandy's a uh, local resident here of San Antonio. Uh, she's helping uh, the people out here, getting clothes, food, uh, and other resources. But uh, Sandy's gonna. There's Sandy right there. Sandy. Hi. <laughs> so Sandy's gonna help me translate. Uh, I'm gonna be asking this. Uh, a few of the people who are staying here at the campsite some questions about their experiences and what's going on here um so uh guys my name is john, Eduardo. john. junior john junior junior you go with the so i've got eduardo and junior here with me guys and, uh, eduardo can you tell me uh what was your experience at the Migrant Resource Center like? Allá adentro, bueno, entrando fue algo bien, pues algo tranquilo, pero ya después que se cumplen las 72 horas, ya te mandan a la calle sin ningún beneficio, ya no te puedes ni bañar ni nada, sino que te vas a la calle como que si fueras un perro. He said, he said that after the, the 72 hours that they have in there, they, after the three days are up, they get kicked out, they come to the street, then they can't take a shower anymore. They don't have food, they don't have clothes, they don't have nowhere to stay. So, you know. So, so they're here they're camping just out? They're camping out. Okay. And uh, what country are you from? Venezuela. Venezuela. And what, uh, how long was that journey coming from Venezuela to the United States? De llegar aquí un mes y dos semanas. One month and two weeks. Okay. And what countries uh, did you go through to get here? And what was what was like some of the most difficult parts of your journey? Difícil, bueno, la selva. The hard part was when they were in the desert. Colombia, yeah. Panama. Is that the is that the is that the, is that the Mexican Guatemala. desert? Yeah. Okay. Guatemala. Guatemala. Es bien fuerte porque es horrible. Tienes que pasar con dinero porque si no no pasa. You, Igual it, it's, it's ugly. When you have to cross, you have to cross with money. Because if you don't have no money, you can't cross at all. And that was Guatemala? Guatemala, Mexico. So you need money every time you cross the border? The, the, the authorities over there, they, they charge you for money every time you cross over. Okay, okay. And did you have to go through any jungles or anything like that in Panama? Okay, okay. Cuatro días para llegar sin descanso. Pero hay mucha gente muerta. Ocho horas de caminata, un día de, de eh, una hora de descanso. Okay, they had to cross over, and there's one desert Balboni. where they had to cross over with kids, and that took them a while. And then afterwards, they had to cross over to another one, which it took them four hours, and it was just them by themselves. But oh. those are the Panama and what otro? 
Panamá, Guatemala, Guatemala y México. México. Those are the three ones that are the worst ones for them. Okay, okay. Um, and how long have you guys been here uh, at the uh, the campsite here? Twenty days. Twenty days. So Junior's been here twenty days. Okay. He's been here sixteen days. So we got one gentleman here who's been twenty days, sixteen days. I uh, spoke with an individual yesterday who's here maybe about uh, twenty-five days or so. Twenty-six days. And so, you guys can see here, there's a little dog here, a little chihuahua dog. <laughs> hey, this is, uh, this is the guys here. This is Italo. Hey, Italo. How are you? Uh, que de país eres? Venezuela. Venezuela? Uh, is everyone here from Venezuela? Todos ustedes son de Venezuela? Yes. Everyone here is from Venezuela? Okay, okay. Um, and how long have you been here? How long have you been here in Texas? Two semanas and a half. In Texas, he's been here two weeks and okay. a half. But he stays over there in the, in, the, in, the, in the place across the street. Okay. And what are your plans to? Uh, what are your plans after this? What are your plans after this? Work and, and help his family out so they can have a better future in life. Okay, are you here with your family right now? Just with his wife. Okay, where's your where's the rest of your family? Oh, they're in Venezuela. So you're they're gonna come over here to after after they have after they have their papers in in order, they'll be over here with them too. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh do you wanna stay here in San Antonio or do you wanna go somewhere else in the country? He said yes, yes, because here in San Antonio there's a lot of work. And he wants to and they and they help out more here with them so his plans are here stay here in san antonio, stay here in san antonio. okay okay and we got uh one tent right over here guys right behind me and then another tent uh right over here um is it okay if we take a yes, look here ahead. okay so this is one of the tents Oh. Yeah. Like he, he say, he's saying that uh, okay. that they need help right, like finding houses and stuff because they don't have nowhere to stay. Okay, so they need. Uh, they're telling me right now they need help finding houses because right now they're just staying in the tent. I'm gonna go inside the tent right now, guys, so you can kind of take a look. See, so we got one mattress here, another mattress here on the other end, and a couple sleeping bags, a couple backpacks um and just some clothes and some shoes uh and some towels up here y'all can see that but um but yeah so this is just one of the tents that we have here i'm gonna go ahead and zip it back up for you guys okay and i'm just gonna go ahead and take a look around um like we said guys everybody here is from venezuela and is there is that bike does that bike belong to anybody Oh, he's not part of this group? Oh, he's an American? Yeah, he's American. Oh, okay, okay. All right, so that, that bike over there belongs to an American guy. Got some more people coming in right now, guys, as you can see. Um, let's take a look. And Sandy, so can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing over here? I've been here ever since I found out about them being here. Mm -hmm. I come and I help them out by bringing food, water, clothes. And I'm just here all day to support them as we speak because, like I said, there's not people like us nowadays because people just want information and then they just take off and not helping them out. Yeah. You know, so they just want to come and like get information from them and then they just leave. Okay. And they don't help out or anything like that. The yeah. pastor was here yesterday with us, talking to us. They will be here today, bringing food, water, clothes for them again. Is that the pastor from? Uh, yes, you talked. Yes, you talked to him okay. on the phone. Okay. And I talked to him today too. Okay. So he will be here to be bringing them more clothes, more water, more food. Okay. Okay. Um, and what 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 have you been hearing about the the center across the street? Um, 
when I've been talking to folks, it sounds like um, they're probably not getting three meals a day. It sounds like they're getting no, they're more not. like snacks or something. They're just getting like, little, like, 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 like they're just getting like little bags of like chips or cookies and that's it. Okay. And then like a pouch of juice and that's it or just the water, but they don't get food like they're supposed to be getting food. Okay. So uh, yeah, guys. So our experience has been, at least when I've been here a few times, I see folks here who, you know, are hungry. So we got, we've gone ahead and fed them. Uh, a couple times while we've been out here um, but there's a lot of people here that um, you know are just hungry uh, don't have a place to live and so like I said earlier they have got three days to make arrangements and if they don't they end up over here and this is just one small area um, but if you look over there guys I don't know if you can see it from here but we've got more people lined up uh, behind that building right there we've got more people at McDonald's and then obviously we've got a lot of people over at the Migrant Resource Center and some of the adjacent businesses and even some of those adjacent neighborhoods um, but a lot of these folks are just um, just standing around, just standing around. Job, food, towels, water, clothes. yep they're looking for resources right um, and so Sandra's been helping feed them uh, and even clothe them the church um, I'll show you guys the the clothes over here so this is uh these clothes are being brought by a church called Impacto de Amor okay so Impacto de Amor um, has been coming here um, I think almost on a daily basis I would say um, and they've just been dropping off a lot of clothes, a lot of food, um, and 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 that's about it. But but uh, the food is is a little scarce out over here as well. But uh, again, guys, I just want to let you know I'm over here, right across the street from the uh, Migrant Resource Center on 7,000 San Pedro Avenue, and um, and yeah, I. Something needs to be done because what's going on here isn't right. I know a lot of people came here and searched for the, uh, you know, American dream, and this obviously isn't it. So, um, anyway, guys, um, this is John Melendez tuning out. Be safe. Thanks. Bye.